All right, so you got an old arcade machine, an old cabinet, and you want to put some games in it because it didn't come with a board, but it's got the original monitor, or you just wanted to gut an original classic arcade machine, you monster. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at how you can get a Raspberry Pi working on an original arcade monitor in an original cabinet with minor modifications. All right, so I open the coin door and you'll see some of my components I have down here. So right here, this is a VGA to CGA converter. This right here is pretty much the heart of your video. Uh, your Raspberry Pi is gonna put out HDMI. You can use an HDMI adapter to VGA and then VGA to CGA and then CGA to your monitor. Not the best quality, obviously, with all the conversion. However, it will work and it doesn't look horrible especially for older games. Over here, we have an iPack 2. This iPack 2 supports trackball or a mouse, as well as two players with, I believe, up to eight buttons. I'll have to double check that, not 100% sure. Uh, however, with this setup in a vertical cabinet, I'm only using a three button setup, a four way joystick, and a trackball and then you have player one and player two. And we'll go over a couple things here about that. So as we step up here, this control panel looks original, like the rest of the cabinet. It's a custom control panel overlay that I purchased from, I believe, this old game. Um, I wanted it, it matched perfectly for what I wanted. It's got a very close texture to the original Pac-Man um, CPO that was um, on the original control panel. However, this actual piece of metal for the control panel I purchased from Arcade Shop. It was their Miss Pac-Man Galaga um, conversion for a multi-cade. And I like this panel because it allows me to put a new panel in without destroying the original. I did take the original Pac-Man joystick off. I put a new grommet in it and you've got a new uh, dust cover. This joystick feels fantastic. New micro switches as well, or uh, leaf switches on there as well. These buttons are just standard half competition buttons. I've got a two and a quarter inch trackball, I believe, is the size for that. And then standard buttons to try to keep it as original as possible without, um, you know, modifying what's in there currently. So what you have to do is obviously wire your iPack to your controllers. It's all labeled there on the board. You can see what labels the what, and that's using USB. So the USB plugs into the Raspberry Pi, and we're gonna cover where the Raspberry Pi is in one second. All right, so where's the fastest and easiest way to connect a Raspberry Pi to your arcade machine? Let me show you. you take off this guy right here, and you take off your marquee, boom, you have AC power going to your light bulbs in the marquee. So you can buy one of these little guys right here, bought it at either Home Depot or Lowe's, but this will allow you to plug in your AC adapter and connect your Raspberry Pi. What I also did here is using this speaker that was original, I took a board out of an old set of computer speakers that I had using the three and a half millimeter jack you see right there. That plugs into this, which allows me to adjust my sound and it works great. I have one USB being used for the power for the speakers. This USB is coming from the iPack 2 which is used for the controller interface. And then I have, as I mentioned, a HDMI to VGA adapter, which then goes to the CGA converter. So how does this all run? Well, providing that you have your Raspberry Pi configured with the RetroPie build, as well as any MAME games that you have set up or configured, you might have to configure your emulator. I'm not gonna cover that right now. I just wanted to cover the hardware basics of getting this installed on your machine. So with it set up this way, using the power from the marquee lights, all I have to do is push the power button. 
which then lights up the marquee, which is giving me power to those. And you will see that the Raspberry Pi is booting up. So I'm going to go ahead and let this boot up. It only takes a couple seconds. And then I can show you the interface. So I had to do some configuration on the Raspberry Pi to make it a vertical monitor. But you'll see I have Arcade. I also have two versions of MAME. And that's just because of certain games would not work with the trackball, like Centipede, stuff like that. So I kind of had to play around with that. But if I go ahead and go into Arcade, you'll see all the different ROMs using the standard scraping, puts the flyers there, um, different games, stuff like that. So, you know, just for completeness sake, I'm going to go ahead and boot up Pac-Man. And I prefer the speed hack much better than the original, in my opinion. Press start, get your boot up, there it is. So the way I have mine configured is player two is a coin, and player one start. And as you can see, it plays pretty darn well. And I died on purpose, so it's done. So, but to get out of this, I just have it configured. I hold the coin button and press player one, and that'll kick me right back to the main menu where I can select another game. Hopefully this is informative to you. Um, I will try to put links for the CGA to VGA converter as well as the iPack 2 and anything else that I'm using in here that'll hopefully help you not destroy an original arcade machine. I got this cabinet empty with a new monitor. So, you know, it was an original cab, but I didn't destroy it. And I did my best to keep the original panel as well as all the wiring inside of this. So if this needs to be converted back, it's a very simple process of getting a Pac-Man board. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.